You have one unheard message. First unheard message sent yesterday. Yeah. Didn't answer. I just got their voicemail. So do I still have to do this? Come on, just do it already. Do it. Come on, come on, come on. Do it. Okay, okay, I got it. I'm not doing this in front of everyone in the entire party. I'm going to the guest bedroom over there and I'm locking the door. When I'm done, I'll come back out. I don't want any of you disturbing me while I do this. Or what? You just gonna back out? Well, I won't back out because I can't back out at this point. Now can I? I mean, it's already told me to leave a message after the beat. Oh shit, it's already recording. They're hitting on. Damn it! Uh, I I'm so sorry. Uh, just give me a minute to get somewhere where I can actually get my thoughts together. I, I promise I'll explain everything. Okay, now we're alone. I, I mean, I'm alone. Just me and this phone that I'm talking to you with, which... If you are listening, that is. You might delete this voicemail without even listening to it. Which, honestly, would be kind of a relief, because this is pretty nerve-wracking. This probably sounds like some terrible phone scam, so I guess I should explain why I even tried calling you in the first place. <sighs> Shit, this is a mess. You probably don't even know who I am right now. At least I've never given you my phone number, so I doubt that you'd recognize it or have it saved. So, as far as you know, this is just a random call from a random number. Which makes this really weird. Actually, that works in my favor, doesn't it? You have no idea who I am, so you can't be mad at me for this. <laughs> Uh, at least that's some weight off my shoulders. Now I can actually say what I need to. But first, let me explain while you're getting this weird voicemail at like 3 in the morning. I'm sure you don't even see this until you wake up, so at least I have time to go into detail. <laughs> I'm not going to try to give myself away here, so sorry if I'm a bit vague. Well, I'm not actually, since I'm trying to be subtle enough that you don't know who I am. I guess I'm sorry if I end up being too vague about what's going on because I'm trying to remain anonymous. But let's get to what I'm actually trying to tell you. I'm going to tell the whole story so you understand. So please be patient and just hear me, okay? Alright, so I'm at this party right now. Like I usually am on the weekends. It started at, like... Seven last night, and it was going great. It's just relaxing, having a few drinks, just having an all-around good time. Except a few drinks turned into a shit ton, and I got real drunk. <laughs> just completely wasted. And somebody comes by, and they start to... Well, they start to flirt with me. Sitting next to me, leaning on me, trying to fill me up. Usually I'd be cool with that, but... Tonight I guess I wasn't. I pushed them away and told them that I wasn't available because I wanted to date you. God, this is so embarrassing. I can't believe I did that. I actually told them that I wasn't dating anyone because I was hoping that you would date me. I just up and said that to everyone. Can you believe that? Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. <laughs> You're not even on the phone. You can't respond. Sorry, I'm still not completely sober. I mean, I took a nap for an hour or two at some point between then and now, but I went way harder on the drinks than I meant to. The sleep helped clear my head a bit, and so did some water and food, but only after I embarrassed myself even more. Everyone was telling me that after I mentioned you, I would not shut up about how amazing you are. The person that was trying to get with me asked why I was so interested in you. <laughs> it was a lost cause after that. After I woke up, everyone started teasing me about how much I was rambling about you. I didn't believe them, but someone showed me this 20 minute long video where I had the stupidest grin and ranted on about how much I like your face. <laughs> 
At one point, I got upset you weren't there, so I kept trying to leave so I could find you. People had to keep pulling me away from the doors so I wouldn't walk out of the neighborhood without having a clue where to go. Thankfully, um, I tired myself out and ended up taking a nap on the couch. But then I woke up. And everyone was more than happy to tease me about my puppy love crush. <laughs> they kept mocking me because I always say that I'm not the relationship type, but I was talking about you like you hung the sun and moon. It was the sappiest, mushiest bunch of babbling sweet talk I've ever heard. If you ever see the video, you totally agree with me. <laughs> Actually, I really hope you don't see the video. I'd probably die on the spot. So anyway, a uh, stupid self-thought would be a good idea to join the game of truth, dare, or drink. As anyone with a single brain shell should have guessed, <laughs> the second I picked to dare, they dared me to tell you about how I was saying I wanted to date you, which leads us to where we are right now. With me telling me that I'm really into you. Holy shit. I actually just said it. <laughs> wow, that's uh that's my first time saying something like that. But I really am interested in you. Romantically interested, I mean. Not just some one night stand or quick fix. Feels a bit crazy to say, especially because I have this whole flirty playboy type reputation that everybody knows. To be fair, that isn't a completely inaccurate reputation either. I've always been a bit of a player and everyone knows it. I love a good time, so as long as everyone plays it safe, what's the harm? <laughs> I never really cared if anyone knew, because that's just who I was. I liked being someone who could just get whoever they wanted. I even took pride in it, if I was honest. But then you came to one of the parties I was throwing, and it was all over for me. From the second I saw you, I couldn't get you off my mind. The rest of the night, you were the only thing I could pay attention to. <laughs> I remember that you kicked my ass in a game of beer pong, stole a drink right out of my hand, and then took one of my jackets because it was cold out and you wanted to walk to the 24-hour diner across the street. <laughs> you know, you never actually gave me that jacket back. I've always wondered if you kept it. You still have it? If you do, do you want to wear it? I hope you do. Even if you don't remember who you stole it from. <laughs> Shit, I'm getting tired again. Expressing my emotions is exhausting. I mean, it feels nice to finally get it off my chest, but it's still exhausting. I want to go back to sleep. But I'm scared to go to bed, because then I'll have to wake up and be sober and deal with this whole mess I made. I don't even want to think about that right now. I think what's scaring me the most is that you might have recognized me by now. What if I said something that gave me away? Or my voice? <laughs> what if you actually do have my phone number and knew it was me from the start? <laughs> I don't want to think about that right now, though. I just want to think about you. Thinking about you is much nicer. I like thinking how you smile, how you walk, and how you laugh. I really like your laugh. Even though you sound like a hyena with respiratory infections. <laughs> oh, it's cute. Mildly off-putting, but cute. It makes me laugh too. Don't worry, I'm laughing with you, not at you. You know, I kind of wish you were here. Someone told me you were coming, and that's half the reason I came. I wanted to see you again and hang out with you, so 
Maybe I'd even try to drop a few hints that I'm into you. Unfortunately, you weren't, so I couldn't spend the night with you. I, I mean, uh, I didn't mean it like that. I just wanted to get to know you more. The most I was thinking of doing was holding your hand or maybe hugging you. That's it, I swear. Maybe touching your face. You have a very touchable face. Like I want to poke your cheeks and bonk your forehead and kiss your lips. Especially the kiss your lips part. <laughs> But that's probably telling you too much. <laughs> I mean, you don't even have my phone number yet. Pretend you didn't hear anything, okay? I mean, if you're even listening to this, please don't be listening to this. <laughs> okay. I'm starting to drift off here. I think I'd better hang up so I don't fall asleep while I'm still on the phone with you. I mean, with your voicemail. <laughs> I, you know what I meant. Sorry for rambling at you for so long, but, uh, yeah. I'm really into you. And I really want you to know that. I mean, kinda? I'm scared for you to know that, but since you don't know who I am right now, I want you to know that. So just to be clear, faceless stranger that is me thinks you are a 10 out of 10. Nope, that sounds creepy. Just forget I said anything. You're cute. I like you a lot. I'm drunk. Good night. But really, I mean all of it. All of it. Uh, yeah. Good night. End of message. To delete this message, press 7.